Greetings, citizens of the internet. Welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. I'm Ashley Skeva. Jeff Kanata is up at GDC, probably checking out the PlayStation VR event right about now. But for now, let's hit some headlines. All right, so there is a German developer who is doing some incredible things with virtual reality that you have to see. Realities.io showed off a stunning demo of various interior spaces in virtual reality that utilizes photogrammetry. The technique uses pictures from a digital camera, and in this particular demo, a Realities.io employee spent a little time stitching the images together and cleaning up the finished product. Specular lighting software added a great finishing touch, making the rooms come to life as if you were actually there. Realities.io says they want to use this software mainly for virtual tourism so that they can give people the chance to visit and walk around places that were previously not possible for them to do so. This is a beautiful example of photogrammetry, and honestly, I can't wait to see this used in a horror game because it's going to be so realistic, but maybe I'll wait to play that horror game until daytime. Uh, if you have glasses like me, you might find this next story very, very interesting. Israeli company Deep Optics is working on some high-tech glasses that would be considered omnifocals. They would be able to change their focus in real time. A layer of liquid crystal resides in the frames and sensors track the wearer's pupils. When the frames calculate the depth of the object the wearer is looking at, a small electrical current changes the liquid crystal, effectively adjusting the wearer's prescription in real time. Deep Optics says it wants to start human trials in a couple of years, but until then, they are going to work on making the technology smaller and smaller so that they can fit a standard pair of frames. Uh, so that's it for our headlines. I think we should talk about Deep Optics, but I have a feeling Jeff is going to want to hear a little bit about the photogrammetry, and he's going to want to talk a little bit about that. So maybe we'll roll both of them in. If you want to get in on the discussion, you can tweet at us with the hashtag HeyTD. And if we like your tweets, we will incorporate them on our third Thursday long show when Jeff comes back. Uh, that being said, let's check out our phone photographer of the day. Our phone photographer of the day today is Renan, who took this picture with his iPhone 6S Plus. Renan writes to us and says, my name is Renan and I am originally from Israel, but now live in San Diego. This is from last night with my iPhone 6S Plus on my street in San Diego, and I give you permission to use it in the show. By the way, I love the show and like to watch it with my 10-year-old girl. She likes your glasses and how you change your hair. Thanks, Renan. Uh, Renan, way to capture a perfect rainbow in the streets of San Diego, although I think that is one of the places you can actually get a picture of a rainbow on a pretty regular basis because that city sometimes is perfect. Uh, that is it for our show today. If you want to send in your photography, you can email us tomorrow at cnet.com. Uh, give us permission, tell us a story, and also tell us what device you use to take your picture with. Uh, of course, we are always on the internet. You can share the show with a friend at tomorrowdaily.com. Jeff will be back on Thursday, like I said, and we will be deep diving into all the news from this week. But until then, be good humans. Bye, guys. Oh. 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 Oh.